Hi everybody and welcome back to her channel. Today we will be reviewing Uncle Roger, aka Daddy Roger, aka Mr. Still Your Wife and Your Rice Cooker. <laughs> you know what? Facts. Alright, um, I can't remember what today's video is. Is it the egg fried rice one, right? Yeah, it's the egg fried rice one. Alright, so for this video <laughs> we're going to do a little bit different. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Should we show so, what we got? Yeah. Should we show what we got? Oh, got. Yeah. If you don't so, know, it's so true. It's so true. So, what what's gonna be the rules of this? Every time, Uncle Roger says hi. Yeah. We drink. We drink. We drink once. If he says, um, I don't know. If he puts, if his, he leg puts down. his leg down, we have to go do shot twice. Okay. So every yeah. higher is one. Yeah. What if he doesn't do it for any of them? We still drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess. All right, let's go then. Let's. Right, see. You, I hope you I, don't stop. This is how you shot, you know. It's the most traditional version of egg fried mm. rice. And today we review Master Chef winner nephew Adam Liao making it fun, oh fun, goldy, and expensive. Watch. Is he the Asian Joshua Weisman? And look at his kitchen. It why can't that hospital? Hi, yeah. How he gonna? Do Shit. <laughs> He said hi. <laughs> you see what happens when you mix in Iceland in your drinks. Okay, well, sup, so. No, my mouth was not big enough for that. That's nice, you know. Ooh. No, she's a star. You are sensitive, please. Mm mm. Wee. All right, let's go. Let's see. So you're not even ten seconds in already. So go get ticket now. Link in description. So you're probably wondering why you've never heard of Yangzhou fried rice. Yangzhou fried rice is the most famous fried rice in all of China. Well, if you're Chinese, you probably have. But if not, it's probably just called fried rice in your local Uncle Roger like his voice. So so thing is all a kind of a, a permutation of Yangzhou fried rice. Yangzhou is mm. these things. Chinese cleavers, obviously. Hi, your nephew add them. Just one. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I have You know what? Her. It tastes nice. It does taste, it tastes nice. <laughs> but it we, tastes even I better. really should have been like, can you get another bottle? I didn't know. If I knew, I would have been like, get another bottle. I told you, it tastes better though with the ice lolly in it. Yeah, but you haven't put the ice lolly in it. Oh, not, not in yours. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Is it because you can't drink alcohol? Wh why? What do no, you mean? Like, you don't like the taste alcohol. I don't like the taste. Why is the ice lolly in it? Can it taste nice? Press play. Yo, this content to Yo, I won't be Everything. happy. You get two for one, and why your clean was so thick and not about the size. Now, if you add the bit, how you use it. Hello, aunties. Oh, Alright. No. Oh. Next time we play that, we are going to play game. again. Now, I want to oh. play this game again. Oh, you mean next time we'll do a video? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, so, I'm going to have to buy more soju. Yeah, we'll buy more soju. So come, we'll get a whole okay. case of Huh? Good Yang Zhou style fried rice is that all the ingredients have to be cut really, really well. It's kind of a way for them yeah. to show off their knife work. This is all correct mm. so far, but why his kitchen so bright? It look like he in heaven. Am I watching Bruce Almighty or something? What coming next? Spring onion or Morgan Freeman? Ah! The most colorful thing in the kitchen is you. You fucked up. But you can use any different types of ingredients Fruit. that you might like. I've got here some carrot, good. spring onion, some garlic. Good. No, 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 no garlic. Yangzhou fai rice is Chinese style fai rice. No garlic. Garlic more for like Southeast Asian style fai rice. Like Indonesian style or Malaysian style like what Uncle Roger make. Small mistake. Small mistake. This bamboo shoot. Peas. Alright. Now this is Chinese cured ham. Chinese cured ham, good for you. On a Chinese restaurant probably just uses regular leg, leg ham or even um, Cantonese roast pork ah. or even Chinese sausage, something like that, which is easy to get. But if you can get your hands on Chinese cured ham like this one, it's this guy really talked a lot of ingredients. <laughs> just say Chinese cured ham, he got a whole story for one ingredient. Also some cooked chicken giblets. giblets. Nice. All of these ingredients as you cut them up and you bite them in the rice, it's about creating texture Correct. in the fried rice. Some prawns. Mm. Isn't it, do you feel like you're in a lecture? This is taking me back to uni, like oh, I need you know, a note pan. I'm so do you <laughs> my eyes closed, I can't lie. I'm, I'm here trying to stay up like, yeah. 
So yeah, you're on my Chinese. You ever found two and a one and a half one of um, listen, uh, be a I'm big girl. We've got right a little now. bit I'm left. Fine. I'm absolutely fine. Um, shiitake nice, 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 prong nice, mushroom nice, well, egg of course, of course, we okay. have this. Don't say hi, ah, please. Rice, important part, like sing, Don't put your egg down cold, either. overnight in the fridge, so that's got a chunk. Correct, correct, overnight left over rice, not bad. But this rice has actually been cooked in chicken stock, it's not just... Mm. Of course, nice chicken stock for rice. What well, you might have to add a little extra flavour. They might add some uh, chicken powder in when they're frying the rice, which is very, very common. Maybe a pinch of MSG or something like that. No, no, not pinch, pinch of MSG. You want to use the whole fist. <laughs> Listen, if you're fisting okay if it comes to MSG. But. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but that took me two seconds longer than it needed to. <laughs> it's the way he was about to say, Sorry, children, and he just didn't. I'm like. Um, that light little innuendo. Thing. What what kind of freaky thing you get off? Do you know what I mean? Is my question. What right. are you doing? You're making that young Joe style fried rice. Let's talk the rice and chicken stock first. We use leftover mm. rice because we want rice to be a bit dry for egg fried rice. But his leftover rice still look a bit sticky. See? It's still sticking to his hand. Uncle Roger predict it might clump up a little bit later. Maybe tossing gonna be difficult. The rice for egg fried rice, you want it to be drier than my ex-wife. The labour intensive part. We've got to chop up all these ingredients into about half centimetre dice. In French cooking you'd call that a massive Wait, do you hear do you hear like a uh like a angelic type of music or yeah, am I yeah, hearing yeah. okay no, 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 okay I so I'm not bugging. Well. It, it, okay. It's really weird, yeah. Okay. I don't know why I was like, wait, that. am I bugging? No no no. You uh, might uh, have muscle what? Uh -huh. Muscle what? In French cooking, you'd call that a macedoine. I uh, don't use French cooking term. You're making Chinese style egg fried rice. Don't show off your Le Cotton Blue bullshit. <laughs> Hi, uh, just say chop centimeter for all these ingredients. The prawns I can probably leave a little bit bigger. And this music form cube <laughs> is very important. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing like a meditation well, I, I, or something. Yeah, you took the words like, yo. Like, I'm a Pilates or like, something. Like, we had a rainforest. Just let me just the... hear the chopping fam. I don't want to hear no Gabriel trying to bring the <laughs> three magic kings or whatever they're called. I don't know. Why is oh, it? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no man, between you and this man and the surgery. I don't know if I can make my dinner. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I need to eat too. I mean, chopping could, but what is with this music? This look like music from Charity Weecho. I feel like any moment now, they're gonna be phone number coming up on screen telling you where to donate. For the price of $3 a month, you too can help this Australian chef get haircut. Make him look less homeless. Nice chopping technique. And the important part of the dish, obviously, is for everything to be cut to the same size. He correct. Yang Zhou Fai rice, every ingredient need to chop to the same size. That's why you chop it to the size of the pea. Because you cannot chop pea. So make everything the same size as pea, then everything same size. Uncle Roger, big brain. <laughs> nice. Now you really do get a lot of flavour from this cured ham. Char siu, you know, the Cantonese roast pork, or even the lap chong, the Cantonese style sausages will give you a lot of flavor as well but it's still, still chopping ingredient that's going to a lot of depth and umami to the dish because the seasoning how many minutes now come on <laughs> right fire rice need to be no i'm telling you this no. is giving me uni vibes yo in my head is like i'm really trying my hardest Wait, to concentrate like oh i thought it wasn't recorded oh i need to like is it like oh lord these surges on my yo no man hurry up hurry up this has too long stop talking so much that not slow motion that the actual speed of his chop. <laughs> this guy's slower than starbucks wi-fi well but it's important to have some kind of ingredient that's going to provide a lot of depth and umami to the dish because the seasoning that goes into a fried rice is actually not very much at all there's no heavy sauce there's no no even soy sauce i'm just gonna season this okay no soy sauce no soy sauce actually okay for traditional yang zhou fried rice but like he say make sure all your ingredients got good flavor otherwise your fried rice is going to be so bland jamie oliver gonna serve it at his restaurant Emotional damage! The flavour of the ingredients is what gives the dish its flavour. All of these things combined together can give us a nice kind of base. The rice is going to go in with some of the egg. Show a shot of his hand for what? See, when the camera guy get bought, he starts <laughs> focusing on random shit. And then the salt that seasons it gives you the taste of the dish. So, maybe prosciutto, if you oh want Oh my to. god! Yo, why are you just um, chopped? Thing, man, just must say donate the thing. I don't know why we're still here. I don't get it. I don't get it. You see, if he was just do normal 
caught up in a French style thing. It would have been done by now. I don't know why he's taking so long. I'm it's coming. assuming <laughs> it's been seven hours. <laughs> No, no, wait. This video is six minutes and eighteen seconds. I ain't still I ain't done it. no cooking yet. I ain't seen no oh, oil oh. been dashed in no wok. I ain't seen no, no egg been no, cracked. No, I ain't no, seen no, none no. of that. I just see him. He's had I'm just I'm My guy, we got I'm how so, many yo. minutes left? We got five I'm minutes left. Still chopping sausage oh. eggs next. I just have to uh, egg put uh, those up a little bit. Nice cracking, but crack on flat surface. Nice chopstick whisk. Up. Good. Head over to the wok and finish oh it off. God. Wok. Good. Good. Now there's actually two different traditional methods of making yangzhou fried Christ. rice. They're either called silver over gold okay, or gold over silver. Yeah. All right. Silver's the rice, and the gold are the eggs. In the silver over gold method, you fry the eggs first and then put the rice on top of the eggs. In the gold over the silver, you fry the rice and then pour the eggs on top. Correct, that two methods, but niece and nephew, just use silver over gold. Cook the egg first. Gold over silver, more difficult. Don't do gold over silver. Uncle Roger got no faith in you. You're not Uncle Wang Gang, you're gonna fuck it up. The silver over gold method is much, much, much easier for home cooking. See? For gold over silver, when you're mixing raw eggs into rice, you really had to be tossing that over very high. It's <laughs> just going to end up with an omelet. For the other one, for the silver over gold, you fry the eggs first until the eggs break down. Did he just say that? Again, you know, yeah, you know, your professor says the same thing, but in a different oh way. And I'm like, bitch, <laughs> just said this. You just said I that. I get it. Fry the egg first Silver and then dash gold, it. platinum diamond butter, just <laughs> cook it. Do you know what I mean? Just cook it. <laughs> just cook it, man. It's a diamond jubilee. Where did he put it down? So as with all oh, cooking starts wait, to cook. No, 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 no. What how long? Six me. and a half minute in, he finally <laughs> start cooking in this cooking video. This guy takes so long, he giving me more blue ball than Auntie Esther. But the wok very nice, the smoke coming up, good heat. I'm gonna add more oil when I fry the rice and eggs. Oh, good. For now, we just want a bit of oil. Good amount. Hold all of these other ingredients together. Aromatics first, so the garlic. No garlic, no garlic. Remember, no garlic for Yangzhou fried rice. No spring onion, too yeah, early, well. too early, nephew Adam. Okay, I know why you put spring onion in there now. Because the heat bring out spring onion flavor. That correct? But just put at end, all your rice ready. Just put spring onion at the side of what? The spring onion fall down, touching the side of what? That enough heat to bring out spring onion flavor. You put so early, you're gonna wilt. The next thing I wanna add in is the cured pork because the fat will render into that oil and give us a lot of flavor. Okay, correct. The rest of the dish. Then my vegetables. The chopping, very good. See, very even. Good job, nephew Adam. And the prawns and chicken. Prawn, chicken, good. The peas at the end. Okay. And I'm just gonna season. Nice tossing. It's of salt. Salt, okay. That looks pretty good, so I'll take that out and set that to one side. See here? See here? This spring onion already wilting, starting to turn mm. yellow. Hiya, what I tell you, it won't look good. You know, pretty one yellow spring onion. It looks like it got jaundice. Now, if you want something <laughs> a bit dirty at this point, you can brush it out under the sink, but actually, no need to clean it. More oil going in, then in with the eggs. Egg, good. Nice. We good put oil. Around. Good. So start to break up. Nice stirring technique. And as soon as I sort of get a little bit dry, that. Hmm. Uncle Roger think that it may be a bit overcooked, it a bit too dry, you want mm. the egg a little bit wetter, then mm. it coat the rice better, mm. give the rice good yellow colour. Mm. Don't let your egg fried rice be whiter than Elon Musk on holiday. That's when we can put our rice in. Now the rice is going to start to absorb the oil, a <laughs> little bit crumpy. A lot of oil in. Now this is why you want day old rice. The tent's punching good. Use the back of your wok tool to push the rice against the wok. Correct. As it gets coated in the oil, and that's going to give us nice separate grain. Salt in, because that's pretty much our only seasoning here. And then the rest of our ingredients mm. back in. Nice, nice. Now start tossing. Toss, toss. And that is the what? technique. You have to toss the rice, nephew Adam. Don't just use your spoon to scoop it. I think because his rice not dry enough, still a bit sticky. So he cannot toss. See what I tell you? That rice stickier than nephew Nigel's sock. Or you know, pretty much every fried rice you've ever eaten. Mm. This is Yangzhou fried rice.
That was let's it. See, let's see. So, so you've done all of that just to be at the end. This. Oh my god. Six minutes of like you talking. No, you know what? I get it because he's, he's talking about you know why it's used and da 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 da. And that's also very important. But the six minutes of that and ten seconds of this. Hmm. The rice has no charring on there. No wok. Mm. Hey. And remember, no garlic for Yang Zhou fried rice. And don't put your spring onion in so early. When this mm. video come out, Uncle Roger gonna be in Jakarta. Because remember, Gordon Ramsay challenging Uncle Roger. He said he go to Indonesia more time than me. So now we're gonna fix that. So see you, Dennis and nephew. And remember to get ticket to all my show. Bye bye. Rice is most traditional form of egg fried rice. Woo! Bottoms up. Ah. So. The ice salad makes it taste really nice. You're right. Yo, my eyes are going cling, 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 <laughs> sleep, bitch. <laughs> it looked like you just stopped yourself from falling asleep. I was so confused. Like, error message. <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay, we know who definitely won't be doing this again. Don't have eyes on me. Um, you know what? I... I enjoyed the soju. Him speaking for six minutes, I wasn't too sure of, to be honest. Uh -uh. Um, it was a good video. Mm -hmm. As Uncle Roger says, you know, it could have been done differently. But, it's alright. Mm -hmm. Let's keep you awake. I need to be awake because I'm going to cook. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> <laughs> And that's um, we have things to do. We have things to do. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that video, Ooh. if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. You right. No, it's like, so this was like, no, the so she's, she's licked. She's so licked. You're frass, mate. Listen, let me take this off. <laughs> no, I was like, wait, where's the... Oh, Jesus. Oh, I was like, where's the... I don't know. I don't... Did you find it? Did you find it? Oh my it. gosh, <laughs> let's close up this because I need to go cook. All fun and okay, everybody, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave, leave, let us know what you're talking about in the comments. Yeah, section. Yeah, that part, <laughs> that part right there. Um, until next time, take care of yourselves, make good decisions. I feel like you now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>